Okay, so in order to get ChatGPT set up for uh, Arma 3, we're going to start with installing Node.js. Um, it's the number one runtime for uh, web development. So press next, license agreements, path. Now this next step, you need those, the necessary tools. Those are used to install Node.js packages. So once this one is done, the tools will also be automatically installed if you check the box. Yep, and this is what it looks like when the tools are getting installed. I'm probably just going to skip through this. It takes a little while, five minutes, something like that. Once Node.js Node is installed, uh, you got to uh, subscribe to DCO GPT. Now the dependencies here may vary uh, in the future. Right now, you don't really need A3 TTS or a CBA. However, they're good to have, and uh, at least with the TTS, that's going to give a lot more uh, immersion into this. Uh, next step is start one game with uh, DCO GPT uh, loaded, and the recent, and of course the dependencies in ADBI two to be specific. The reason for that is that once DCO GPT is loaded together with InuDBI2 that initializes the uh, InuDBI files that we need to communicate with uh, Node.js. So once that's done, tab out, close the game, and we're going to take a look at the actual files. Uh, you can right click on the mod list and then that's going to open up the location. Go all the way into the DB folder and a3 GPT in, A3 GPT out are both there, so that's perfect. So, next step, we're gonna go to the DCO GPT mod. So, just right click, double click, and we're gonna copy the DCO API. And this is the program that's gonna communicate with OpenAI. Like the bridge between OpenAI and uh, Arma 3. Step number one here is setting up the config file. So first we need the path to the InnyDBI2 DB. By we get that one, same thing, just open folder, double click on InnyDBI2 and then you go into the DB folder and then you copy the path here and paste it into the in a folder key notation next step is getting the api key and you get that one from openai platform.openai.com once you're logged in right click on your icon click on view api keys and then you generate a a new key now this key will be deactivated as soon as i'm done with this tutorial so don't even try copying it. And then we paste it in to the config file. DCO config.cfg is the name of the file by the way. With that, you got everything you need in terms of the config. Then the last step is setting up the actual API and that one is also pretty straightforward if you ask me. So first we copy the path to the deep, the API folder. We're going to use PowerShell to navigate in. So it's CD, double quote, paste in the path, double quote, end, enter. That's going to navigate you into the API folder. Then we run npm install which is why we installed the tools earlier when we were installing Node.js. Once that is done, we're going to run Node and Dot. That will set up 
the last little bit. So, uh, debug message, API version, everything is up to date. And just close it. So this has created two bad files, or like shortcuts, you could say. Uh, one is for executing or starting up the DCO GPT, and the other one is for updating. So if you're if you need an update, you will be notified, and you can just double click on the update file. Now to run it, you can double click on Run DCO GPT like I did, and then just leave it in the background and now we're just gonna check that it all works out and uh, I did make this video a little bit longer but I'm just gonna show one guy I'll probably make a demo video a little bit later yep and that's it now we can go and talk to him so in order to talk to the guy we need to switch to direct communication and then just send him a message so hey man how's things things are tough but i've managed i'm just glad to be able to help out in any way i can 